since I've been out here. It's, it's been a good time since I've been able to sit out here, do some hobby, make some videos for you guys, and talk about some stuff. But, you know, stuff gets in the way, nothing you can do about it. Um, but what a video to make for the first one in about roughly, jeez, it must be really pushing a month now at this point. But, look what came out. Look what came out. Shade Spire. Spike Claws Swarm. We have new Skaven models. Yes, thank God. Oh. Now we have new Skaven models. There's only five, but these are super, super awesome. And Bing, can you see that with the, I know there's a lot of glare after the light on it. A lot of kind of focus. Let's take over my head there. We have Spike Claws. I was going to say Spike Claws Sperm. Spy Claws Swarm. Now, of course, I just couldn't get one of these boxes. I had to get two. But I'll talk about these. Why I got two, I'll talk about a little bit more in the video. So I'm going to be doing an unboxing video for these. We're going to be looking at the models in detail. I was going to do in this video, uh, like I'm going to build them up and everything, but I, I, I think I might go on a bit too long. So I'll do that in a separate video. I'll put them together and we'll see what they're like. The boxes are heavy. They're heavy, there could be a lot more in it than I thought. Now I'm completely new to Shade Spire and Warhammer Underworlds. Well, not completely new, I know about it. But I've never had any of the models or read the rules or anything. So I'm super, super excited to see what these guys are like and to build them. And we have new Skaven models! Thank God! Woo! Yes! So, uh, enough of me getting too excited over plastic models. Let's have a look at what's in the box. Alright, so the first thing, the very first thing you're going to notice about this box is it's pretty thick. <coughs> it's it's a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be. It's heavy, and um, so I wasn't too sure what that was going to be at the start, but um, when I opened it up, it's, it's the cards. Now, one of the things I noticed, look, I've had her damage in the box already, because to try and open this, I, maybe I should have opened it from the bottom. I will for the other box. But... It's kind of hard to get in behind this flap here to pull it open and unfortunately I did have to rip this cool little brand new box but uh, I don't care about the box too much it's nice to look at but what I'm really wanting to look at is that spike loss swarm so we have your instruction booklet these are snap fit models so uh, unfortunately I know all these guys have like individual names and I really thought that the names might be on uh, the instruction booklet, but it's not So it comes in this really cool little box uh, Let's have a look, so there you get two sprues uh, The bases are Kind of molded bases, which is awesome And it is the cards in the bottom that are Really heavy, you get two decks of cards. I have no idea how Shades by your works So these are Completely unknown to me, but at the end of the video, I'll open these up and I'll quickly go through them. You have a card for Scritch Spike Claw, so I'd imagine the rest of the named guys are in this one. And this is, it looks like it's maybe like action cards or something like that. Aversion to death, self sacrifice is not an act widely celebrated amongst the Skaven. So, at the end of the video, I'll go through them because I just really want to have a look at these two sprues. These are the most important thing of the box the two sprues. So, let's have a look. Um, so let's see if I can find Spike Cloth first. He's gonna be on this one. Now his base, let me see. I have a ruler here. I wanna measure the size of this base. I did have a ruler here. Oh. So his base is roughly 32. And then the smaller ones are going to be 25 so if that's that could be a thing for the future where you know what size bases to use for your clan rats So which would be 25 which I pretty sure that's what I was using before anyway So we have the molded base here. I really like this one because it has like the like apart from like the the kind of Cobblestone pat, but it has like these little rats here as well these two tiny little mice In kind of this puddle so it's gonna focus for me a little bit maybe which is really awesome. You have kind of the arc piece, which he's standing on top of. Which is, if you just look up on Forge World, the Forge World Vermin Lord. Is it the Forge World Vermin Lord? Yeah. It's like the same thing as that. He's kind of standing on a bigger version of it. Here you get a better look at his uh, cloak. 
Okay, I'm not gonna really go flip it over because all the other sides except for this arm here are all the kind of like the push fit parts, so there's nothing really to see there a whole lot. Um here we have the rest of Spike Claw. Oh, I can't go further. Which he is full of awesome detail. He's really cool. Uh, his big um halberd or spear wherever wherever it is he's gonna be holding. That's just alongside of him. Uh, let me have a look at the box to make sure I can Yeah, he just has the one weapon. I'm gonna leave that here so I can get a quick look at it. Um he only has the one weapon, which is fine. His pose is like ultra dramatic. He has like or ultra dynamic. He has uh the big kind of arch piece to kind of stand on as well. So here we have the back piece of one of the guys. He has like a flail with a shield, which I really like the use of a shield. Um, I don't think it's really seen enough in some Skaven models, so it's really nice to see that. Here we have two more arms, one with open hand. This one, this is the guy that's kind of posing like as if Spider-Man or Batman would. Um, another body, or kind of a lower part of the body. So like they're really posed. Super dynamic. This is probably the most basic looking piece in the whole box because it's just like a big straight line. It's like a leg all the way up to the head. Um, and here we have a look at another one of the smaller bases. Now this one, this one's pretty awesome. I never really caught on to this. This is probably one of my favorite bases in this. And I have like the cobblestone and everything, but then it has like the grate and the little mice running underneath it, which is really cool. That's such a cool thing. Uh, the second sprue, so let's have a look at the bases first on this one. So here we have your cobblestone and everything, and it has, let me see if I can get a, a right, the best angle for this to see it. Maybe it's going to be from this way. You can see this little mouse, this little mouse guy sticking up or digging up from the floor. That's a really nice little addition, I really like that, I think it's super cool. Um, here we have, uh, no, it's just, oh, I want to know the name for these guys so bad, um, I know they're online, but the details look really cool, I like the pose, it's kind of hunched over a bit, here we have a leg, now this is really awesome, you definitely do not see this enough, uh, a tail with like a, like a dagger on the end of it, usually you see like, I think a lot of the, the Blood Bowl players have, the Skaven ones have like, like a piece of like sharp metal or like a, like a, like a spiked ball or something like that, but you don't see a dagger with the tail kind of wrapped around it enough, which I really like. Um, it's a really nice looking pose. Here we have just another piece, kind of. It's really, like, how are these designed? It's so weird. Um, this base, very basic. What is this little thing? Oh, there's a little foot here. So it's very specific. So, it's, ugh, can't even talk, can't even talk. So this base is for, like, someone specific. Oh, look at this pause. That looks really nice. And here we have one of the guys with the, with the spear as well, with another little mouse on top of him, which is awesome. I like the pause of this guy as well. He's up on one foot and he's kind of like pushing it along. It's really nice. Uh, another, by the looks of it, this looks like a, the toes of a model, which is for, specifically for another guy as well, which is kind of funny. Um. And then we move on to, let me see, I think there's only like two kind of pieces left on this. Um, you know, you have like a part of a leg and part of a body, but this is like one of my favorite poses in the whole box. Look at this guy here. When he's going to be put together, he's going to look so cool with those like blades in each hand. And it, and it kind of looks like he's running and jumping forward. That's going to be super awesome. Um, and that's it, like there's two small sprues. Um, obviously they're pre-colored brown which doesn't bother me that's fine um absolutely full of detail unfortunately there's going to be no kind of parts left over but that's fine definitely a box that's going to be used for conversion ideas that's why i got two of them definitely for clanation and i'm just really looking forward to putting these guys together um so then quickly i'll hit on, the, on this as well on the box so you can kind of see what they're supposed to look at. Maybe I should have showed this first to kind of make sense of it a bit more. But um, probably this is the guy who's probably one of my favorite poses. He has, with, with the way, he has like everything going for me. He has the pose, he has the weapons. It's super awesome, but they really are really dynamic, all five of them. 
Um, I can't wait until Rob built and put together. So quickly then, let's have a look at these cards. Now if anyone wants to explain to me how these cards work, I suppose they're like action cards or um, things like additions you can use for your warband and stuff like that. And obviously kind of character cards. I can't even cut this. There we go. So let's have a look. We have Scritch. This is this is like a like a TGC card on 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 uh on I was gonna say unboxing uh pack opening. Uh Scritch Spy Claw. Um it doesn't really give you any Ooh Scritch inspired. These are like double sided, holy shit. Uh so this looks like you're coming oh let me think. I'm not sure how this works. So I wonder if this is like Age of Sigmar card for if it's not for Shadespire. Oh no, it's not because it has this kind of little exclamation point, which must be specifically for Shadespire dice. But anyway, that's pretty awesome. Uh, Kirk the Almost Trusted. What a fantastic name. Almost Trusted. That's the guy with the pike. Or the pike. Um, the thing my jiggy. Lurking Skaven. This is my guy. He is awesome. Lurking Skaven inspired. Uh, Hungry and Skaven. This is the guy with the shield and the kind of like a flail. So there's not as many named ones as I thought. Festering Skaven. It would have been nice to have like a little bit of information just on the side here, but. Uh, what can you do? Uh, feast, feast. Uh, score this at the end phase, enemy fighters have been taken out of action. All enemy fighters in two or more warbands. Okay, I don't know what that is. These ones aren't double sided. Uh, arms linked. Look at that artwork, look at that. That's awesome. Uh, brilliant, brilliant. Scritches, please, yes he is. No flogging for the rat filth this night. Scritch Spike Claw. Uh, Horned Survival Instincts. Leading from the back. I'm not even looking at the rules. I'm looking at the artwork. This is these are like really nice looking. Live to fight another day. I imagine that's like a retreat type of thing. Lives are cheap. Numberless swarms or numberless swarm. Uh, Scritch is the greatest. Yes, yes. And he has him fighting one of the, the fire slayer guys. Alone in the darkness. Now look at this. Score this at the end of a phase and there's no adjacent fighter on the battlefield. Okay, I don't know what that does. Uh, butchery. Oh, So we're kind of moving into more chaos stuff instead of scaven specific. Carnage worthy of the blood god's gaze. Okay, cover ground. Escalation, really nice artwork. Master of war. Miraculous escape. No more tricks. Overextended. So these must be like basic cards to go with just like any kind of warband or maybe just chaos specific. Although this one has uh Stormcast and Fire Slayers on it. Ready for a challenge, tactical genius. The bigger they are, at least there's a scaven guy on that one. Black hunger. Ooh! Haven't heard Black Hunger in a while. That's a that's a pretty old rule. Stab, smash, train the meat, train the blood, yes, yes. Bodyguard for a price. Through threats or bribery, Scritch always employs a personal bodyguard. The life expectancy of these bodyguards is especially is especially low. Expandable. Yeah, that's a word for the scaven, all right. Uh, festering blades, awesome. Uh, flee, <laughs> skitter, scurry, sneaky, stab, stab. But they get to see that awesome kind of uh, tail knife again. So that was one of them. It's kind of like character cards mixed in with a bit of everything, I suppose. So let's have a look at these ones then very quickly. Oh god, what are these cards then? Spike class swarm, deck one of two. Oh, that doesn't give you much information. I don't know if you can get the rules for Shadespire online for free like Edge Sigmar, but I definitely want to get the starter box eventually. Uh, Aversion to Death. Uh, I think I've seen that one before. Skaven. Oh, Skaven Courage! 
Holy shit. Skaven have courage? As far as Skaven are concerned, it's not a fair fight unless their opponent is severely outnumbered. Well, that, that kind of that sounds right. Frenzied stabbing. Heightened caution. That's like a, a Mordheim rule. Perception type of rule. Uh, momentary, momentary boldness. Must go fear. The artwork on these are awesome. Nervous, scrabbling, scratching in the shadows, sudden, sudden skittering. There are always more. Curious inversiveness, inversion. No warrior is beyond defeat, for their greatest strength can quickly become their biggest weakness. Ooh. Last chance. That's cool artwork. That's really nice. Momentary madness. I think I've. No, I haven't seen that one. Sacrificial pawn. <laughs> Look at that. That's awesome. He's like, come here and take these arrows for me. Uh, spoils of battle. Ooh. Glory, pride, honor. I will try it all for a good blade. Uh, blinding flash. Ooh. Rebound. Retink strategy. That's an awesome looking card. Shatter shard. A treasured possession of your enemy shatters into fragments, scattering on the ground like dust. Ooh, shade glass maybe? Desperate gambit. Look at these weird kind of dice looking scavenings. Uh, shade step. Awakened weapon. Acrobatic. Hero slayer. Even the mightiest heroes, even the mightiest folk can be slain. So I think, I think that tile thing is like a movement. Must be like a like a strength type of thing here, and I don't know what that like a damage one maybe. Sp <laughs> oh my god, look at this! Look at this sprinter! Why in God's name did they choose a fire slayer for that? that? I have to keep that to the side. That's one of my favorite cards. Ethereal shield, the fractured key, trickster's charm. Uh, is that from Warhammer Fantasy Battle? Trickster's charm. Sounds familiar. Cut a friend's hood. Shade glass hammer. Oh, shade glass hammer. Well, clearly an ornamental weapon. Getting stuck with it is still a bad idea. Oh, so it's like you don't use it really. Swarm of rats, throwing stars, whirling halberd. This guy, he's going to town. Look at this fella. And that's it for the cards. There is, there's a lot of cards in this. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Shit. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. So there's like thirty three in this one. So the other one is probably the same. But uh I've no idea how to work. Oh they have different symbols up here as well. This one has like a sword. So it has like a cog. Oh, they have them up here, look. I don't know what that symbol is. That's a scab one. Oh, I don't know what that one is. Maybe it's like for an alliance or for anyone or just for chaos. Oh, that one has a... This one has a... a Sigmar fella, but it has that symbol. I'm not too sure. But uh, if you're going to take anything from these cards, take this one. Sprinter, a fire slayer doing his... Uh, Doing laps of the field is probably the funniest thing I've seen. <laughs> Look at this guy. But uh, hopefully you guys like this unboxing. Um, for the price of this box, it's incredibly cheap. Like you're getting, well I get off Element Games, so you get like specific discounts and everything, which is really good. Make sure to check the links out below. Uh, five models, five incredibly detailed models, lots of cards. Shade Spire looks like an interesting game. I'll definitely like to check it out in the future. And stay tuned for the next video. I'm just gonna clip these guys together and have a look at what they're like. Um, and I'm not even gonna. Will I glue them? Yeah, there'd be no other reason not to glue them because, as I said, this box is for like the Shades for your guys. I'm going to like make them as normal and paint them. And this other box is gonna be for like conversions and stuff like that. So there'd be no reason not to really glue these. I know they're snap fit, but I'm gonna glue them anyway. But, um,. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. A really awesome looking box. Uh, there's a lot in it, a lot of cards, even though like the cards are kind of useless to me. I don't know how to use them, I don't play the game. But they're there, they're nice to look at. They're nice to kind of add to the collection. 
which is always good. So anyway, make sure to hit that like button and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this awesome box. I'm, I'm strongly thinking about getting more of these kind of shades by your boxes. They're really nice. They're cheap. They're cheap for what you get in it, I think. I think they're well worth it. But um, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next video.